Here in Missouri, we have over 10,000 bridges uh, in the state inventory. And a significant number of these bridges were built back in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. And they're showing their wear. A significant percentage is, uh, of these bridges are structurally obsolete. Uh, it's very important to develop new materials that will be low in maintenance, have longer service life. We're here along the Mary's River, just east of Jefferson City, Missouri, on Highway 50, at the job site of a new bridge location using innovative concrete. This research project was developed based on laboratory work done at the university over the past two years. Leading up to this project, we tested two large-scale girders to make sure we could validate the capacity of the members before going to the field implementation portion of this project. My students are involved in all phases of the construction of the bridge. This includes the fabrication of the girders at the precast plant in Bon Terre, Missouri. The high-strength self-consolidating concrete allows us to increase the span length of the bridge. So this will reduce the cost of the structure. In addition, we're using high volume fly ash concrete that allows us to reduce the amount of Portland cement by 50%. And the fly ash that we use in the concrete allows us to take materials that would normally go into a landfill and use it in the bridge structure. We're also able to reduce the maintenance cost because these materials are more durable and they will also extend the service life of the bridge. This project will allow us to compare three different types of concrete grades under the same environmental conditions. Many of the members of the bridge have sensors in them. It'll allow us to compare the strain, stresses, essentially the internal forces in the bridge the remote cellular-based system will send the data back to the University in Rolla, where we will be able to analyze the data. This has been a really rewarding experience, not only for me professionally, but also for the research team and the university to take work that we've done in the laboratory and apply it to a, a real-life application out here in the field. We're hoping long-term that the Department of Transportation, not only here in Missouri, but across the nation starts to adopt some of the latest concrete technologies to create not only more cost-effective infrastructure, but also to create infrastructure that will have a longer service life and also be safer for the traveling public.